Pito tajam kalaman kotum dantam. Tall as the Baobab tree is a story about two sisters who were the very first from their rural village families to ever go to school. And one day the older sister finds out that her father is going to arrange a traditional marriage for her younger sister. So the story of the film is uh, about what the older sister does to try and stop the marriage and how her actions culturally uh, have an effect on her entire village. We made this film to look at the issue of forced early marriage. I think the interesting distinction here with my film is that I did not enter this situation as a human rights advocate. I entered it as a, a, a filmmaker, a teenager, uh, who knew absolutely nothing. And then I met these kids, and it was really their, kids my own age, basically, it was really their story that n was needing to come out. That enabled the film to be this natural feeling mirror of what's going on because I wasn't there to say we need to make this film with this certain political social agenda. It was more we need to make this film to capture all these feelings that you are having. And so from that of course the, the agenda emerges naturally, the statement is made, uh, but, but not in a, a pushy way. It allows you to arrive at these conclusions yourself. So I wanted to, in the film, put the audience in the shoes of the characters as much as possible. I wanted you to feel, of course, what the younger sister is feeling when she realizes that she's going to be sold into a marriage. But I also wanted the audience to feel what the father maybe was thinking, or the mother, or even the older brother. So for me, fiction seemed like the best tool to do that, to really put the audience emotionally in everyone's different perspective. The film is called Tall as the Baobab Tree. Everywhere in the village there are baobab trees that dot the landscape. It's a very uh, classic physical feature of rural West Africa. The trees also have a spiritual and traditional significance. I mean, they can live for hundreds of years and, and be huge. It's huge, unchangeable things. So in picking this title, we wanted to, I think, reflect on this theme of change and how traditions maybe seem like these unchangeable things, but they can change and do change, and the new traditions will come and become the old traditions.